Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I want to talk about the magic programs of advanced lifters. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, so when you see programs from advanced lifters, experienced lifters, whether they're bodybuilders or strength coaches, they're strong men, whatever they happen to be, all right? We need to understand something important, that this program is a culmination of a long period of time, a lot of experience. And this program that has been developed for this individual is basically, it's, it's very specific. It's been based on years and years and years of things that work for that individual, and they won't necessarily be optimal for you. One thing I want to mention as well when you look at programs of very, very advanced lifters, you need to understand that 90% of their strength, 90% of their muscle was probably not built on that program. This is especially true with bodybuilding programs. I see a lot of this in the industry and I've seen a lot of this over the years. Bodybuilders will come out with a program, something they use now, but it wasn't what they used to build 90% of their gains. That doesn't mean the program they use now is crap. Anything, that's, that's not true at all, and that's not what I'm saying. We just need to understand when it comes to magic programs, and obviously these guys don't label these programs as magic, but we need to understand when we look at these programs that they aren't needed, okay? They aren't needed. Here's what's really needed, and here's what's the, what these advanced lifters have done. They spent a lot of years grinding it out with the basics, all right? Getting a lot stronger than they are now, using a reasonable amount of volume, being very consistent, nailing their nutrition, etc. Those are the basics. Though That's the overarching consistency behind all these programs. So these lifters went into the gym and they did the, the basics for 90% for of their gains, all right? 90% of their gains. Over time, and this is a point I talk about a lot on this channel, they evolved their training based on specific needs. So they came up with this endpoint system that works for them. But you have to understand, they evolved their training off their needs, their needs. So when you look at a program, we're always tempted to adopt the program of an advanced lifter, but we need to understand a key ingredient is to evolve training based on needs. If you want to try a program from one of these lifters, okay, that's fair enough as long as it's reasonable. But don't consider it magic and just remember the basics and fundamentals that work. And remember, most importantly, that it's okay to evolve this program based on your needs. What do I mean? Well, I'm going to give you an example from the 5x5 five five realm, and this usually triggers somebody. But don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying 5x5s five are useless, 5x5s five don't work. I'm not saying any of that. But when it comes to set and rep schemes, sometimes as a lifting community, we are really stupid. We just kind of place the same rep scheme for every exercise, like every exercise is basically the same, like it has the same demands. And this is really a stupid way of doing things because every exercise feels different. For example, when I do barbell rows for 10 to 12 rep sets, they feel like hell. I really, really mentally struggle. I don't like them at all. But when I do barbell rows for lower rep sets, say five to eight rep sets, it feels better. Now that's a personal thing. I'm not saying that's the same thing for you. But if we keep the volume the same, say you were doing four by 10 on barbell rows and we decide we wanna do eight rep sets, all right? Four by 10 is 40 reps. Uh, if I decide eight reps is kind of my limit, I could do a five by eight, still keep that 40 rep volume, still keep the focus on progression, and I just evolve things a little bit based on one exercise. So five by fives, for example, don't always work the best uh, for every exercise. Um, you might want to use higher volume on barbell rows. You might find that five reps work great on barbell rows. Bench press, for example, I don't feel like a five by five is a be all end all. I don't feel like it's necessarily the amount of volume that I get the best strength response from uh, as a general power building type of program, not, not necessarily a, a power lifting program. So I like to get more volume in. So five by five, for example, 
if we just insert that into every single exercise and just try to run with it, we're going to find, hey, I don't really like five by fives for this exercise. I like five by fives for that exercise. And that's really the point of evolving your training based on needs. So back to what we were talking about, if you adopt a program of one of these lifters as kind of a starting point or learning point or just somewhere to begin, don't hesitate to evolve things as long as you're maintaining a reasonable volume, as long as you're maintaining a reasonable progression approach. And remember, 90% of their gains were made from the basics and fundamentals and where they ended up now comes from evolving their training. For you to become an advanced lifter, you have to build a lot of strength, a lot of muscle, spend a lot of time messing with the art of program design and program uh, evolution, but you're going to come up with a program at the end of the road that works good for you. One of the issues I have with lifters that do all this stuff, they evolve their training, uh, and there's an ignorant side to, there's an ignorant side to lifting uh, as well, and not everybody's like this, but we all know how it goes. A bodybuilder will evolve their training based on their needs and then shovel it over to you like it's going to be the best program for you. This is simply a little bit of ignorance. So remember that just because it works well for somebody doesn't mean everything is going to work well for you. Don't hesitate to evolve it. There's nothing magical. If somebody pushes a program as magical because they found it's the best thing for them, just take it with a grain of salt because there is no magic other than getting a lot stronger than you are now and remaining consistent. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.